Yeah, it's big. This this is a really big clock. But that's okay. All right, guys. Today, we're going to unbox this extremely, extremely large clock. We're going to take a look in the box, see exactly what we get. And at some point, I'm going to figure out exactly where am I going to mount this large clock. Probably behind myself, maybe in front of myself. It has a ton of features. Let's take a look at what comes in the box. This is a clock that was sent to me by um, a brand rep, but uh, of course I want to take a look at it and see exactly what it is. So let's just take a look at exactly what comes in the box. Okay, this does come with the remote. And it comes with a power brick as well. And then we get our actual clock. This is the actual clock itself. So let's move this box out of the way. All right, guys, so here's our clock. So let's get in here and see exactly what we get. So it looks like, all right, so we get our manual and it basically just gives us some basic information on how to set the clock up. Uh, very good. Uh, it also shows us here how to uh, connect the Wi-Fi to this clock so that the clock would automatically update even if the power goes out. So you can just follow through these steps here and you'll be able to easily set this clock up. But let's let's set it up, get it turned on and see exactly what we get. Now it does come with this little uh, mounting hole type of guide. So what this does is it allows you to know exactly where to drill holes if you're gonna be placing this on the wall. But if we look at this from the back, as you guys can see here, those just almost match up perfectly there. So those match up perfectly. So that's exactly where you're going to be drilling on the wall if you're going to mount this on the wall. But you do have the option of just using this little kickstand. So it does come with a little kickstand and that just kind of goes back like here. Now, if you're going to, uh, of course, you're going to want to power this. So we definitely will need to open this panel here. Now, this is going to come already with these two batteries already inside. And what those batteries for is to just keep the time. Even if the power was to go out for some reason, it'll just keep all of your settings. So here's our power brick. So let's just undo this real quick. All right. So the way this works is you just plug in your power brick here. Like that. And then you run the cord. And then you also have the option of running the cord here off to the side. So it does have like a little um, like a little cavity here where you can place the cord definitely inside of there. And then you can just take your little door and put that back on. So then the door just goes on back like that. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Actually, I'm going to plug it into some power. So let's take a closer look at some of the settings here that are available to us. We have a snooze button. We have this timer. We have our hours. We can set from 24 hours to um, 12 hours. We can set our thermometer for temperature. We also can set an alarm and we can set a timer. And then down here at the bottom, we have our dim control for the lights itself for the, for the clock. So here's our remote, which basically gives us all of those same controls just in this handheld device. So we have our set button here. We have our time. We have our alarm set. We have our 24 hour periods here. You know, we have our timer, you know, we have our minutes and time and hours. And then we have our volume controls. That's going to be for the alarm. And then we have our brightness controls as well. That's going to be for the screen. And then, of course, we have our timer reset. All right, so let's turn our clock over and see exactly what it looks like. All right, guys, so this is the clock. So, of course, you'd have to go in and set up your time and date and your, your month and your temperature and things like that. Now, like I said, a lot of this you can control from the remote. Other things you're going to have to control from... Um, you know, from the buttons that are on the back of it. All right, guys. So hopefully this video has been helpful to someone who needs, like myself, a super large clock. This could be exactly what you're looking for. All right, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.